What I hope to be able to share with you uh, today is a bit more clarity about what the standards are. All too often, I think we just think like, okay, life's gonna get hard for kids and for teachers, but that actually isn't very helpful information. And so we'll talk about some more specificity about what the standards are and what impacts uh, they will have. So uh, to start off with, uh, one great example of when so many people are working on a common initiative is that there are really great partners out there doing this work. Uh, the Council of the Great City Schools is one of them uh, who have created this video. Like it or not, life is full of measuring sticks. How smart we are, how fast we are, how well we can, you know, compete. But up until now, it's been pretty hard to tell how well kids are competing in school and how well they're gonna do when they get out of school. We like to think that our education system does that, but when it comes to learning what they really need to be successful after graduation, is a girl in your neighborhood being taught as much as her friend over in the next one? Is a graduating senior in, say, St. Louis, as prepared to get a job as the graduate in Shanghai? Well, it turns out the answer to both of these questions is no. Because for years, states have been setting different standards for what students should know and be able to do at each grade level. That's making it too hard to know if our kids are really doing well enough overall. And if they can really compete for a job someday, what we really need are clear goals. That's where the Common Core state standards come in. They're like a total sea change in education. Consistent, strong, clear benchmarks for English language arts and math. Here's how it works. You can think of kindergarten through 12th grade like a giant staircase. Each step is a skill your child needs to learn before stepping up to the next one. But right now, too many kids aren't really confident with like two plus two before they have to move on to two times two. We need more focus on the skills that help them move up the stairs or they can slip up and fall behind. And there's another problem. What if everyone's stairs were made at different heights? Well, here we go again. They are. So. A boy in Seattle who's rocking an A in English literature could be getting a C on his Chicago friend's staircase. Oops. We need to create consistent steps in education too. So first, each standard creates a landing on the staircase, a stop along the way as your child heads toward high school graduation. Each stop is a chance for every parent and teacher to focus on the skills their students are supposed to know at that step, no matter the zip code, language, or race. And more importantly, each standard makes sure all students are learning what they need to know to get to graduation and beyond. Because something like counting to 100 leads to understanding dollars and cents, which eventually leads to understanding how to manage a budget. Secondly, the standards are consistent from school to school, and they match up against international standards too. Now we know how we're doing compared to just about everyone. So even though local communities will still design their own curriculum with the same rules, Everybody can compete on the same kind of staircase. But standards aren't learning. That's why we need teachers, parents, and students to help make that happen by working together to help kids meet these standards. The world's getting more and more competitive every day. But now, when our kids get to the top of their staircase, they can have way more options on where their life goes from there. Clear goals, confident, well-prepared students. That's the Common Core State Standard. That's just kind of a parent-facing message intended to kind of communicate a, a few things and hopefully clear up some misconceptions. Um, so one of the things that, that I will just highlight in that video is even though stairs might kind of communicate everybody doing the same thing at the same time, that is not the message of the standards. And so in fact, the idea about how students in Oak Park, even within a school in Oak Park, are meeting those same targets is very different how, than how students might meet those same outcome expectations uh, in another community. 